Hi, my name is Andrew Dickinson. Today I'm going to tell you about an exciting project under development at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada that combines the power of image processing with the usability of Simulink, SimITK. Medical images are the motivation behind this project as they are frequently used throughout the healthcare system for use within diagnosis and treatment plans. However, there are many times when refining or processing these images may be of use to a medical professional, such as when diagnosing or developing a planned surgery. To accomplish these sorts of refinements, we require the use of an image processing library. In our implementation, we chose the Insight Segmentation and Registration Toolkit, ITK, that uses leading edge algorithms, is written in C++, and is open source and cross-platform. Difficulties arise, however, as the C++ required is high level and comes with a steep learning curve. So what's our goal? We aim to do away with the written code aspect of ITK programming and represent each of the various ITK functionalities as Simulink blocks through an automated wrapping procedure. As you probably guessed from the name, SimITK is Simulink plus ITK. This marriage will allow visual programming of ITK through a drag and drop approach to application development, increase the use of ITK, thus making it more approachable, and give it a much higher instructional value. All the while, we can take advantage of the numerous benefits that come with using the Simulink visual environment. Not to mention, this allows ITK code to be effortlessly meshed with MATLAB code. So how do we do it? We first start with an XML description of each ITK class generated by ITK. These files contain information like inputs, outputs, and parameters. But because these files contain an overwhelming amount of data, we refine and consolidate the information into a simplified XML. This simplified information can then be injected into source code templates for the various required Simulink files through a series of custom keyword substitutions, one for each required file type. As a final consideration, though, ITK has many more data types than Simulink can handle. So we've remedied this. We created a conversion layer composed of what we call virtual blocks that handle any conversions between Simulink and ITK completely transparently to the user. So, with all source codes generated, we run a compilation, and we get what we were hoping for, Simulink block libraries. So enough chatter, let's see SimITK in action. Pulling up the Simulink library browser, we can access SimITK just like we would any other Simulink toolbox. Pulling SimITK down, we can see the various libraries created through the compilation process. One library exists for each data type, and dimensionality, as commonly needed for image processing techniques. Selecting this library, we can see the various blocks that have been created. These include image filters, interpolators, and other ITK functionalities. To give an example of the block customizations, let's make a new model and choose one of these transform blocks. In this case, the 3D-centered Euler transform. If we open up the Mass Parameters dialog, we can see that we can change inputs and modify parameters for this given block. This is applicable for any block. The same method can be applied. Here, we're removing the inputs and specifying a new output. To interact with the ITK methods, if we wish to add a parameter for, say, the center value here, that can be entered directly like a MATLAB array. But if we don't wish to have the parameter, we can remove it and not have it set, and this will not be implemented in the workflow. Conversely, if we wish to have translation as an input so that we could have it interact with a Simulink block or another block from SimITK, we can specify it as an input. In this case, let's have a constant block interact with the Euler transform. Using the Simulink library browser, we search for a constant, add it to the canvas, and connect it as per usual, just like any other Simulink block. As an example of image processing, let's perform a segmentation, where in this case, a 3D X-ray, or CT, is going to be loaded of a cranium and we're going to select and keep the bright regions. That'll correspond to the bone. Here you can see the pre- and post-process data. Now let's look at a more complicated example, a registration. Two cranial scans are going to be shown rotated with respect to one another. We'd like to know how they line up. Running the program, we can see that eventually the two do line up with the parameters shown in yellow at the bottom. But we can also attach a scope to the optimizer block and watch the optimization and registration happen in real time. Let's rerun the registration. Here we can see initially that the two are out of alignment, and then somewhere around the 40 second pass through, everything is lined up. This is a great example of SimITK interacting with current Simulink blocks. And on a final note, please come and join us at SimITKVTK.com for present past releases, documentation, tutorials, these examples, and more. Thank you.